as long as they, uh, I mean, let me pause the game here. Oops. Okay, well, if they don't agree on it, paper won't want best of three, so. Hmm. Yeah, you might as well tell them that if they don't agree on it. Yeah, they have to happen. Yeah. We might as well go with a pre uh, prearranged order. Okay, it's a best of three. All right, it's a best of three. <laughs> All right, so here we have uh, Skytos uh, northeast corner. No. Uh, he's the pink Zerg. Yeah, and on the bottom left, you see spawning in the bottom left. I'm sorry, uh, paper boat. Uh, he's a master Zerg player, I think. Yeah, he is a yeah. top 25 master Zerg player. Yeah, these two are very good uh, Zerg players. As as we can see, Skytos is definitely very good. And paper boat, like I said before, has I, I'm pretty sure he was in a final before or pretty far in a. In a tournament just recently um, and now he's in the finals and it's a ZVZ we haven't had a ZVZ final in uh, quite some time uh, the reason is because we normally have a, a Protoss by the name of five-year-old who plays and a, a Terran by the name of Elite Legend and when they get in the tournament oh man it's it's all about them <laughs> they are scary scary players but anyways right now it's about it's all about two players paper boat and sky toast I am being joined by Gosu so, um, and CG, CG Royal, sorry, and I am to live and die as a daywalker. So, yeah, uh, you were saying? Yeah, uh, I was saying, um, in regards to uh, Muta's this game, do you think it's going to happen? Uh, well, it depends how far it goes, of course. Uh, it depends what road they go down if one decides to, roach, uh, to rush to roaches without getting that uh, hatch, uh, early hatch. It seems like they're both getting the... A pretty copycat opening. Yeah, here. yeah, they have uh, they have similar builds. They're both um, laying down their uh, bottom pool instead of going to hatch first. Um, I'm guessing they're afraid of you know any type of aggressive play at this point. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> there you go. We got a hatchery for a paper boat. Hatchery for sky. Yeah, I think uh, Paper Boat's hatchery was after the pool, though. Is that right? Or maybe, maybe yeah, it was before. <laughs> no, it was after the pool. Uh, it's the same thing for uh, for uh, Sky Toast. Yep. <clears throat> so it's like similar. Pretty much everything that they did right now is similar. Uh, yep. You see the gas extractor going down. You don't see a gas extractor going down for a sky toast yet. He might just yeah. be forgetting it, which is, I think, what's going on. Yeah. Not the biggest deal in the world, but... Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. We have two lanes, you know, definitely for scouting or something or for defense. Now, in, in, uh, total, it's, in total, it's four, but, uh, yeah... <laughs> Usually that's standard for most high-level players. You just get a couple of links for scouting or for defending your natural. Yeah, um, definitely. You usually only see a pair. One for getting that um, one, the, that watchtower. One for poking in, going back to it, their watchtower, and one for your watchtower. Exactly, yeah. But four is kind of unusual, but... I, I feel like they only do that in case, because they're afraid an, an attack is going to happen soon, you know? But... Uh, it's good to be safe than sorry, is what I'm, you know, I Absolutely. feel it's good. Yep. Yeah. You do see Skytoes getting a bit of a problem with this injection this last game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like that was not the most important thing for him. Um, if he had perfect inve injections last game, the game would have turned out in his favor quicker than it, you know. I actually did, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The poke in from Skytos gets in. He does. He is going to know that this uh, Bailey nest is down. So this poke in does give him information. And he does get two uh, drone kills, which uh, sums up their value. <laughs> so yeah, he gets those two scouting zerglings, which 
where he could send one at the Zanaga Tower and the other one at the other one. But he just decides to bring them back to space. Yeah, uh, so, you know, they both kill two units, and, um, yeah, but obviously, uh, Skytoast killed two workers, so it's cost-efficient for him, but let's see, um, let's see what happens next. <clears throat> Would be interesting if overlords could fight. I don't know, I, I see all these overlords stuck together, and I just wonder what would happen if these overlords could fight. Like, with really, really low damage, but they could still fight. You know what it's like? I don't know if you guys remember this, but in the Muppets show, how those two, like, the two uh, um, criticizers sit in the balcony and, like, just talk about the show. Like, this is what the overlords are doing. They're just talking about what's going on below them to each other. <laughs> yeah. Hey, another question that kind of uh, is rather strange. Uh, you know how, like, when you upgrade uh, to layer and you can generate creed? Um, I just want to know how they have endless amount of creed. Like, how they went? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Some nice bailing hits there. Those were nice. Those were excellent, actually. Let's wow. see those unit uh, workers killed. Where's that? Six. Six uh, workers were killed for Paper Boat and two for Skyto so far. Control R for um, worker kills or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Control yeah. R. Yep. And this map, guys, if you want to see the battle, if you want to see a more panoramic view, hit Control W, and you'll lose the uh, UI. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. that's, that's actually... Much Beautiful. Yeah. They have much better. Oh, but I hate how you can't click on the mini map though. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's this is it's yeah. it's only for the action scenes. You know, every, everything else you need to be mini map for. Yeah, definitely. All right, double Evo for uh, Sky Toast. Do we have double Evo for uh, Paper Boat? I do not think so, unless I'm blind. Oh, there we go. Uh, Maybe is going. it me? Is it me or do I think? Uh, oh, Spire Boat. Paper boat is overdoing it on the defenses. Is it just well, no, he is getting a spire though. He he knows he's not going for ground units, so he wants to get that um, ground uh, oh. defense yep. while he's getting those uh, mutas and getting that you know that advantage that I was talking about. Yeah, but they're both yeah. they're, they're both getting yeah. spire. They they both are getting spire. Uh, only difference is paper boat does not have a. Roachworn, right? Paper does not have a Roachworn, so he's going Muta Ling, whereas uh, Sky is going uh, Roach Muta Ling. Yeah, but Sky is saving up for those Mutas, and uh, I don't see uh, Paperboard doing the same thing. Mm. You, you see uh, Sky, uh, Sky, I'm sorry, yeah, Sky well, Boat, uh, Sky Toast has, like, he can drop, he can uh, spawn eight Mutas directly, while uh, Paperboard can only spawn three. We just oh, had four now. The third, but, uh, but, the third base was canceled he, for uh, he, Skytoast, by the way. Oh no, no, you you guys don't know this, but um, he has like six uh, mutas out already. So maybe that's why why all his gas has been gone. Oh really? Yep. Yeah, paper yeah, has mutas on the way. They're 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 on the way to the base, taking yeah, out a muta. Uh, are, Overlord right now. Yep. Oh yeah, I see them. I, So uh, he's completely supply blocked right now. Um, he can't. He can't make units, and he's he has. Let me see how many uh, mutas he has. Uh, he has eight mutas, and uh, Paperboat has seven total. Paperboat needs to get that um, Flyers Carapax. Carapace, I'm sorry. I'm that sorry. Is, is that the armor or the yeah, the attack? armor. The sorry. armor is much more important in uh, CVZ. You see, um, Skytos is getting the armor right now, but that armor makes a huge difference in a mute on mute up uh, battle. Yeah, because I feel like you know, you know when they kind of do splash damage, sort of. You know when they shoot, when they attack you, they're gonna attack like any unit that's near you. And I feel like the uh, what's it called? I feel like attack upgrade is not as you know as good as armor because you will you'll eventually get hit hard. You know what I mean? Regardless of yeah, you have armor or not. Yeah. I just yeah I, I completely agree with you on that. I feel like armor is way better than attack. All right, the mutas of uh, Sky Toes just flying around trying to s uh, s snipe some overlords, and they do. In fact, they. Uh, Supply block the uh, 
green Zerg paper boat just for the time being. He's gonna. Oh, he flies into the third. He has a free queen here. Oh, and those workers are gonna have to run away fast. Oh no. Oh that is, wow. That is yeah, that is not good. Skytoast losing that base now. And paperboat oh. I mean paperboat can't engage Skytoast's mutas. No, nope, he's, he's going right into the natural. Paperboat sends his roaches and zerglings into the natural. He's trying to bring reinforcements behind. He has the uh, uh mutas in the air also at the natural. And he does have uh, the ground advantage now. Yeah, he has a ground advantage while he has the air advantage. Oh, oh, oh uh, wait, no, no, no. Skytos does I have take that back. I take, yeah, I take that back. I Loses. did not see all those. I did not see all those uh, mutas take hits from those spore crawlers. Yeah, definitely. That was un that was unnecessary. Does anyone else think that that was just unnecessary? What? To attack the spore the spore crawlers with the mutas. Uh, well, yeah, definitely, but I think Skytoast just has this game. I think this is it. Yeah, it's, it's a good game. It's a good game. It was a very good game, yeah. Uh, I, you see him dropping down the infestation pit like, uh, uh, to live and to die set, but... Yeah. Uh, he just has... Uh, it's, not, has. it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. He's just hoping for those perfect fungals that are gonna completely yeah. destroy, catch the mutas off position. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's not. I don't think it's gonna happen either. I really don't. I mean, that's an impressive uh, setup that he has right there, but it's just not gonna be enough. The roaches of Paperboat are still in the main base. They're still alive, but this attack at the natural from uh, Skytoast is huge. Uh, he didn't move his roaches in yet, yeah. but these mutas are doing so oh, much oh, damage. Oh. oh no! Did he lay down fungals? Yeah, he did. Those are some pretty good fungals. He's, oh, he! Oh, oh wow. wow! Oh wow! He has another. He oh has come on! Oh, he has. A, he has energy for one more. If he uses. He has energy. two more. He can have two more. Come on! Just, oh. oh. Well, he held it off. Man. He did hold Man. it off. Yeah, he did hold it off. That is impressive. I just feel like, uh, you know, like they were so close to you. Ah. <laughs> uh. Alright, alright, all right. he can get oh, it now. Oh! Oh, that was a perfect fungal. Perfect. Impressive. That was impressive. Oh, wow. The Infested Terran's being thrown out. He's going to try to kill the mutas off with the Infested Terran's. He gets two. Oh, and, oh wow. That is impressive. And Paper Boot and now at the, survives. At this point, yeah, at this point, the Queen can take out both of those mutas, so he can't even harass with that. Um, I can't believe he survived that. That was impressive. Those are some nice fungals. Yeah, they really were. I mean, when he first started making them, I did not have much faith, but wow. Oh, that was very good. All right, the battle goes to the third base of Skytoast. Skytoast fends it off with his roaches, and now a paper boat uh, backs up. All right, I think Skytoast is smelling blood in the water. He wants to macro up here and try to get another army together to send a paper boat. But paper boat has a bigger supply. Look at this, thirty supply more for a uh, paper boat. You know why? It's because. Uh, I don't know why, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, paper boat is much higher. He has 11 drones more than okay. Skytoast. So 51 to 42 in the worker supply. Army supply for 57 to 36. Um, oh, I, I, th I think it's because of the way paper boat has been denying the, what was denying Skytoast third for a while. And then finally Skytoast went over and killed the, na uh, the hatchery at the third for a uh, paper boat. Uh, just to try to catch up a little bit. Uh, but here we go, Skytoast is pushing out with some, with some more roaches. These roaches have one thing in mind, is that that's to take out this third yet again. He won't make it, though. Look yeah, at yeah, seven infestors. Yeah. Seven infestors. Seven infestors. He will not make it. This is, this is not going to happen. Here we go, He's here's the engagement. The Skytoast is suiciding these roaches. Yeah, that's, that's GG, my friend. That is GG. Wow, I really thought Skytoast had it. Yeah, I mean, at the at one point we all thought he had it because he had an, um, a huge amount of 
I mean, it's like yeah, it, but I never thought you would get him on that. Like it, those that cluster of mutas was yeah, yeah. I, I'm just gonna say that um, Paperboy had impressive fungals. He, he really did. He, he held that off really well. Okay, here we go. Another engagement at the third base. He's gonna try to take out this third hatchery. I, I think he should be able to. Uh, and instead, he's not going to focus on anything in particular, but now he focuses on the hatch. Oh, here, nope. here he comes. He's, he's not even going to bother with Fungal anymore. He nope. just wants to kill the base. <laughs> so he's just... It's pretty much a good game. It, it's been it's been a good game since that first engagement near, uh, near Paper Bullets 3rd. Well, Paper Bullets showing... Yeah. yeah. During this battle, yeah, uh, pa have Paper Boat has a 50 uh, more a average APM. Can you uh, press Control R for, uh, for the fan to see how many workers were killed and whatnot? Yep, 61 workers have been killed for Paper Boat, and Skytoast has 32 workers killed. Wow. And there's GG.